My name is Justin Ramos and I am an educator at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. All this month we will be celebrating those who create symbols and spaces that allow our heritage to thrive. And today we're going to be talking about one of LA's most famous murals, America Tropical by David Alfaro Siqueiros. A mural is basically a painting that is painted on a wall in a public place, like this one here in downtown Culver City. This is a mural that's honoring Siqueiros, this is Siqueiros. And we're going to talk briefly about the history of his painting, America Tropical, in downtown LA. Following his brief imprisonment in Mexico for his radical political beliefs, Siqueiros moved to Los Angeles in 1932. By then, he was already a well-known painter and was commissioned by the director of the Plaza Art Commission, F.K. Ferenz, to paint a mural that depicted the imagined splendor and the uh, Pacific nature of Latin American peoples. And it was supposed to serve as a visual complement to the marketplace that was created at Olvera Street, which in itself was already an imagined scene of old Mexico. So Siqueiros was commissioned to paint this mural that was supposed to be a nice, peaceful, tranquil scene. However, the political climate of LA was anything but tranquil. In 1932, LA was in the midst of a depression. It was in the midst of social and political unrest. And the plaza was actually a popular meeting place for labor organizers and political free thinkers to meet. So in this big mix is where Siqueiros is commissioned to paint America Tropical. There's a lot going on in this mural, so let's take a closer look. In the center here is a crucified Mexican indigenous person, crucified on the double cross of imperialism and capitalism. Perched above this crucifix is an American eagle. And in the background, there's a scene of Mayan ruins lush tropical foliage, but most notably on the far right perched above this doorway are two farmers, rifles in hand, ready to strike at the American Eagle. The controversial nature of this mural caused it to be whitewashed, meaning there is a wash of white paint applied over it. This part here, which was visible from the street level, was whitewashed within a year of the mural's completion. In 1938, the whole mural was whitewashed, not to be seen by the public. With a mural completely whitewashed, plaza officials were sure that Siqueiros' mural would never again see the light of day. However, that all changed in the 60s with the emergence of the Chicano movement. The Chicano movement was a movement by Mexican Americans that sought more political representation and a cultural resurgence. Part of this cultural resurgence was an increased interest in the Mexican muralists and public art. In the early 70s, Thanks to the art historian Sharifa Goldman and the pioneering Mexican-American filmmaker Jesus Trevino, condition assessments and conservation reports were written up about America Tropical. In 1988, through the combined effort of the Getty Conservation Institute, the El Pueblo Historical Monument, and Friends of the Arts of Mexico, conservation work was officially begun on America Tropical. Nearly 20 years later, in 2012, the America Tropical Interpretive Center was built in Placita Olvera, allowing visitors to learn about the mural and to view it from an adjoining rooftop. The story of America Tropical demonstrates the indomitable spirit that a work of public art can take on. Public art can educate, it can motivate, it can be a call to action, and it can speak truth to power, which is what Siqueiros was doing in 1932. Efforts such as these were important then, but maybe even more important today. And thanks to Siqueiros, there is a unique spot in Los Angeles that allows our heritage to grow and continue to thrive. Thank you very much for watching this video on Latinx history. My name is Justin Ramos. I'm from the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. Thank you for watching and have a good day.